Hello everyone, I'm Vic Carter. And I'm Denise Cook. Well, our coverage continues at 6 on that overturned school bus in Howard County. We first broke this story on the news at 4. Now, in the past hour, we have learned students from Hammond Middle School were on board that bus. WJC is live at 6. Christina Mendez is on your corner in Columbia at the scene. All right, so Christina, I know you've been staying on top of this for us for the last couple of hours. What can you tell us about the condition of the students and the driver tonight? Well, Vic and Denise, what I can confirm first and foremost is that four students were taken to Johns Hopkins Hospital with some very minor injuries. In fact, police say they weren't even obvious injuries. They're just checking over those students who complained of things like head injuries, banging their head, and also some back pain. So they're looking at things like a concussion. The driver in this incident was uninjured. So far, 15 other students confirmed to be on that bus as well. Everyone has been and reunited with their family. What we did confirm with police as well is that this was a single vehicle crash. And so that means only the bus, of course, was involved in this incident. We learned from police that it, for unknown reasons, veered off and then overturned in that field, as you can see from the video we have playing for you at the moment. Those students who were taken to the hospital, two boys, two girls, and they range in age from 11 to 14. Again, very minor injuries just simply for a checkup to make sure that everything is okay with them. As for the driver, we were told by police that this person was the regular bus route driver. In fact, Hammond Middle School is just 10 minutes away from this location, and the incident happened about 5 to 10 minutes after the release happened at school. So you think this route happened just quickly afterward the incident followed. And as for the driver, we are told by police as well that if anything, this person, a female driver, may be receiving receiving a citation at most at the conclusion of this investigation. I'm reporting live from Columbia. I'm Christina Mendez for WJZ.